What's up guys, hope you're doing great. This is your boy Kobe Shots and in today's video, I'm going to do a follow-up video on something that I spoke about that I was very sentimental about, which I'm going to link it up over there. So if you care to look at it, it will be much helpful to you as well as what you're just about to watch. So please check it out so that this will make much more sense to you and the reason why I'm making this video. So without much ado, let's get right into it. This video is equally as important to me as what I um, linked up above because um, it talks about how people who want to venture into a craft and if they get the opportunity to be admitted by whoever it is that's way ahead of them in that craft what they should be and how they should comport themselves and how it's going to help them in the long way to actually achieve much more than what they expect to gain from understanding this creative. So let's talk about some few things that helped me whilst I was actually understanding some people remotely and actually physically. So this is it. If you're a beginner photographer, for instance, or a beginner filmmaker, and probably all that you do is to ask questions from creatives, I think you should, the more reason why, look up at that video once more. And I'm pretty sure that that video will do you a lot more good than probably what you think it may give you. If there's any question that you're trying to find answers to, the best thing to do is to find it for yourself. But if, for instance, you have access to a creative or even much more better, you are admitted as an intern or as an understudy, you have more access to this information even faster. So the first thing that you need to do is to ask, of course. Then you go ahead to find much more answers and different perspectives from different parts of the world in addition to reinforce what you already know or what you've been told by the person you understudy. And as you do that, it will further more open up much more questions so that you can even further understand that topic so much more. What actually pushes um, creatives away from considering taking people on as interns is that every time these interns come in or most of the time they are looking forward to gaining much more than they are supposed to gain which i'll come to it first of all as an understudy you came to understudy to pick up something that will help you so that further into the future you may be able to make ends meet or to run a business off of but why is it supposed to be so then a, an understudy comes under a creative first of all gaining knowledge for free because perhaps most of the time understudies don't pay a dime to learn or to understudy or to be as um, assistants to these creatives but even if that's the case that you have to pay you're first of all getting knowledge so much knowledge first of all and being able to have access to on you know on failed practice or hands-on practice on whatever it is that you're doing so why do you further have to seek making money off of what you're learning from these creatures because first of all they are giving or they are willingly offering a lot more information to you than if you would pay for it elsewhere how much you are going to you know have to incur as a cost so Take it as, as a free tuition. It's like you're getting so much information and so much hands-on practice for free. And that should be the ultimate thing. You are gaining so much more. But it is your sole responsibility as an understudy or as an apprentice or as an intern to further practice on your own. Try to create a business out of it even as you still stay with this creative to learn so much more. Learn on your own until you are ready to live off of your own self. Learn on your own. Use this, create content, create a portfolio. Of course, you need to consult the creative that you understand in first of all, before you put out any, any content that's from a contract that doesn't necessarily belong to you, but to them. So if you get that permission, you have to steal that opportunity and make the best out of it by creating a portfolio out of those contracts that you were fortunate to be on create a portfolio for yourself and that's going to help you create your own business or start your own business even as you still understudy so that's a huge opportunity because you're not only learning from them but you're also creating a portfolio which will in turn help you gain more access to your own clients in the future so that's it just take it as it is i don't think i have to say so much more about this but apprentices are learning so much more that 
they are taking advantage of the whole situation that i'm offering help and this is what even hits me hard they think that as they are understanding you and they are offering help they are not necessarily offering help they they even ask to be there first of all they are handling your lights they are doing this running and runs they feel like they are doing much more you much more good than what they are taking from you which is totally totally the other way around because learning from someone for just a few coins or just a peanut of a cost or learning from someone for free at no cost trust me you are rather cheating whoever it is if you're asking for money or if you are getting paid whatsoever and you're not being a very good intern trust me you are a very disappointing apprentice to all apprentices all over the world trust me that's that's actually how blunt i can be about this and it hits me hard that you don't take or steal this opportunity so i'm resounding this over and over again that steal the opportunity to create a portfolio for yourself and it's going to help you a long way very very long way into the future to get your own set of clients in the future and it will help you grow so much more but second of all all this put out of the way getting access to a creative or learning off of someone or from someone you have to also research and try to find answers for yourself and learn even further because of course whoever it is that you're learning from is limited just as much as you're also limited they may be good than you in all ways or in a lot of ways but going ahead or step ahead to learn on your own to find much more answers for yourself goes a long way to help you even move further into whatever subject that you're finding answers on and that's going to actually help you so much more than just asking questions or just learning from some people which wouldn't do you as much good so that's actually my advice for you apprentices or want to be photographers who are understanding uh, people already in the craft please do your best to learn on your own and still the opportunity to create portfolios and do not expect returns in terms of money or any you know um, financial gains don't expect if it comes cool you can take it but don't rather make demands because it is rather going to push them away and it's going to make them reluctant as to what exactly or whatever it was that they were willing to offer you as help so that's my advice this brings me to the end of the video if you found this video very helpful and you feel like it will be as well helpful to other people please share it all over social media platforms that of course you belong to and turn on the post notification button to be always notified subscribe to my channel first of all of course and comment down the comment section below so that i will know how much you found this video helpful and if you would wish to see much more videos in this regard or in different fields please make that suggestion in the comment section below and i will of course respond to that call and until the next video have a wonderful day see ya